hello guys welcome to next step with cherry so today i'm going to talk to you guys about the new uh uk tier 5 visa like the charity visa i know a lot of you might have heard about that and i've seen information about that but i'm don't want i don't want to talk a lot about it because i'm just going to give you the list of the companies that are currently recruiting and i have i have emailed them i have sent them an email and they say that they are recruiting people from outside uk so you can try now you can rush now to like you know you know like to send them your cv you go and check out the roles that they have so we are just going to that is what you'll be expecting at the end of this video so if you're my new subscriber I wanted to say a very big thank you and you might want to click on the subscription button because I post educative videos and like opportunities abroad and like jobs abroad uh, low tuition university scholarships abroad so you might want to check my previous videos because I talked about vocational free vocational uh, schools in Germany and Finland as well as Australia so you might do well to check that out and if you're my returning viewer thank you so much thank you so much guys thank you so much I really appreciate so if you're not on my Instagram page please go now and follow me on Instagram because I also post opportunities there so if you want a personal one-on-one -on -one consultation with me I'm going to leave the link on the description as well as on the comment section so that you can get to me like as quick as possible and we can have a visual uh, meeting and then we can discuss your problem or like anything that you want to talk to me about okay with that we just rush into this tier 5 visa so what is this tier 5 visa it's just like a charity volunteer visa that you can go with to UK so some it's like around three months to 12 months some company will give you three months it depends on your contract with them and uh, some of them will be 12 months so what are the jobs that you're expected to do some of them will be like taking care of the kids and like taking care of the disabled and taking care of like social work and like uh, just like normal voluntary work some of them might even be in library because I have a company that is hiring people to work like in library and to you know like bookkeeping bookkeeping and everything and one thing is that most of them will tell you that you don't actually need the required uh, uh, experience in this field before you can apply but if you have an experience that will be better because you can immigrate with your f family right so if you're immigrating with your family you can actually work uh, apart from that voluntary field so but you need to work something related to that field and you can also work uh, if, if your profession is among the UK skilled worker shortage uh, labor shortage list then you can also work in that field but you have to work for 20 hours so i'm going to leave the link of the uk uh, government of uk where it is listed so that you can go through the requirements and everything that comes with this visa yes you can move with your family and yes you can swipe to another visa where you are uk so if you go with this tier 5 visa you can swipe to study visa you can swipe to work visa tier 2 tier 4 you can as well swipe to that if you find a work and a sponsorship work so now with that we can just jump into the the country uh, the companies that are currently hiring uh, people to come over and work as volunteers and please do well to check out the requirements of this visa before you start application or before you start applying hello guys so now i'm going to give you five companies that are accepting this uh that are ready to give you certificate of sponsorship for your tier 5 visa they are so ready they are accepting application right now i mean they are accepting so one of them like in the beginning i talked about a company that is into like bookkeeping and like sending books and like you know like voluntary stuff with books they are accepting uh, application right now the application is open so they are accepting not only for people outside of UK but also in UK so I'm going to show you guys you just have to read through so that you will know what they want but then if you scroll down you will see available roles for UK residents so you will see the roles that are available for if you have like student visa or spousal visa but that is not what we are looking for you just scroll down a bit and you will see available roles for non UK citizens so he said I uh, said if you're currently residing around, uh, outside the UK UK or, or not a UK citizen uh, book to Africa can sponsor your tier 5 charity work visa to volunteer with us in the UK on our international voluntary program for six months or one year so now if you read through here you will see where they said learn more and apply so uh, you just click on it I've already opened it here and then when you click on it uh, let's see 
okay when you click on it it's going to open here and then you can read this please read through this because there are some fees that you might have to pay since they they are not giving you accommodation so this is what they said they are currently hiring guys they are currently hiring so this is what they said App applicants must be aged 18 years and above you have to be you have to know how to speak english and then accommodation and maintenance they don't give accommodation but you have to pay for your accommodation three thousand five hundred pounds for six months and seven thousand pounds for 12 months and they will arrange the accommodation for you and also you have to pay for admin and program fee so this is what you have to pay and in a situation whereby your visa is rejected they will refund you you will see they will refund you a full refund of your program fee and your accommodation fee so and this is what the and this is what the shift is 20 hours per week 9 a.m to 5 a.m mondays to saturdays and this is it so all you have to do is complete the online application and when you accept it they will send you the, your certificate of of sponsorship and then you can start arranging your accommodation and every other fee with them this is where to apply okay that is one of the companies that are hiring and then we go to the second company so guys this second company is also hiring it is called YMCA and they are uh, you can go through their hire they have a, lo a lot of uh, open opportunities so what you have to do is just click on this uh, support us and you will see voluntary voluntary <laughs> so you will see you just click on it and then but I'm going to drop this link on the description you just scroll down you will see uh, to apply for any opportunity please complete an application form and send it to this email send it to this email so you scroll down and you will see the uh, open opportunities that they have these opportunities are for people outside the UK so you can see the one they have they have voluntary leader program uh, the, uh, the finance they have finance project accountant they have promotional events volunteer they have uh, child care nursery uh, volunteer for summer and then they have library assistant they have video content editor and they have uh, another one here so all you need to do if you fit in then you have to uh, you have to click on find more to know what they need and then you click on application form when after you finish filling your application form please go back to that place that I said the email and then you send your application form to this email so you might try as well as much as possible to also follow up with the email to know your where your application is right now so that is the second company now the third company that is hiring is this company called uh, Camp Hill Camp Hill Clana Bogan. <laughs> so that is the company that is hiring. So please try to always read around what they do, what field of voluntary job that they are, like they have, so that you will know how you can present yourself. So now if you go to this website, just scroll down, you will read about this, like who are who are we looking for, blah blah blah. And then you can see if you would like to apply as a voluntary co-worker, please apply here. Alternatively, send us an email if you have questions that have not been answered so now you can click here to apply and then you can apply but i want to show you the faq because it's very important so you can see in the faq i went to the faq you i will drop the link on the description so when you scroll down you will read like the questions that they have what is the age limit they said minimum age is 18 uh, 18 years so uh limit of our short-term volunteer are aged between 18 and 26 so these people have like uh there is no upper age limit okay there is no upper age limit so they can accept anybody so now uh, how can i stay we prefer blah 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 and then here you can see uh do you offer study placements they actually we can offer placement to social work and other college or university students i may be able to provide uh, practice supervision blah 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 now let's see can i apply if i don't live in europe if you're a citizen of a country outside of the uk you will require uk entry clearance we you can you can only apply for this once you have been accepted and invited by this so now when you apply to them they will provide you a unique certificate of sponsorship that you will need to apply for your visa so you see that they also accept people outside the uk so you know like i said this is what accommodation these people provide accommodation and they also provide meal so they are really good and then here is what they do this is what you will be doing so you need to check through it and you need to uh, maybe let your CV be a long 
along that and then here are other things there are criminal record check if they need criminal record and then how to apply so how to apply first recommend that you read through and after that then contact us so that we can send you an application form so like i said in this place so you just go back here and you click on apply here and then it will lead you on how to apply and how to contact them so that is another company now another company that we are going to go to is this Nutley Hall. So Nutley Hall is also recruiting. So you can read through what they are. Uh, you can read through what they are into. You can read through like the the vacancies that they have or like what about them and everything. And then you have to send information. You have to send your CV or you have to send a, an email to this particular number. Or you can call them, but it's advisable to just send an email to them just in case they don't reply. Then you can be able to call them. So they also accept uh, applicants from outside the UK you can go through their FAQ and you can be able to see what they have or like the questions that they have so another company that is it for this so another company that we are going to check is Newton so Newton is also accepting short-term voluntary work so we are accepting applicants for co-workers willing to stay at least six uh, three months but we will give preference to applicants who can stay six months or a year so here is the application form just like the other ones you have to apply after filling the form and uh, with your cv you send it to this email send it to this email down here so let's check the faq Okay, let's check the FAQ. Where is the FAQ? Okay, here, short-term co-worker FAQ. Let's see what they have to say about people outside the UK. So what experience do I need? They said none. You don't need any experience. Will I receive training? All short-term co-workers attend the training. Uh, what about pay there is no payment but as you know you can actually work in a field that is related to what you are doing or you can work uh, in the field of like the skilled worker labor shortage list if your work experience is in that field you can as well work for that so uh, what about insurance those coming from outside EU will have to pay a fee with your visa to the NHS the fee is 